my name is Alyssa and welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing some much needed decluttering and giving my room a mini makeover. My room is literally so disgusting right now. I've just been letting everything pile up because I've been so busy, but it's summer now, so there's no excuses. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on my much needed room transformation. The first thing I want to do is declutter my closet and my dresser. It's gotten so messy and I can barely close some of my drawers, so I just want to reorganize everything and get rid of some clothes that I no longer wear. I did this last year, but because it was my first time ever cleaning out my entire closet, I was a bit more reserved in the things that I wanted to keep and like things that I thought I still might wear. But it's been a year and there are some pieces that I still just haven't reached for. So this time I'm going to be a bit more serious about the clothes that i'm going to keep and the ones that i'm going to donate but since i did do a clean out last year i feel like i have a lot less things that i'm going to get rid of so hopefully this time it won't take me as long my goal is to get through all of my clothes today i have a garbage bag here which is where i'm going to put all the clothes that i plan to donate and then everything that i'm going to keep i'm going to put back into my dresser honestly So this is all the clothes in my dresser. If you can't tell, I gave up around here. These ones I'm a bit more sure of what was in these drawers, so I'm like a bit more confident in what I'll be putting back in, which is why I kind of kept it in its piles. But this is the problem. So I'm just going to go through all of this anyway and decide which ones I'm going to keep and which ones I'm going to get rid of, and then I'll put them all back in my drawer. So I just finished sorting out all my tops. These are my outside tops right here, and then these are all my sleep clothes. I think I'm actually going to put these into my drawer first just so that I have more space to deal with that. So I finally finished sorting through the whole pile and this is what I have left. I'm going to go ahead and put all of this back into the drawers and I will be done cleaning out my entire dresser. So now we're going to move on to my closet. The last time I did this, I took everything out and went through them all one by one. It was so hard and honestly a little unnecessary. But to be fair, back then it was so stuff that I couldn't even like sort through it. But because I did clean it out last year, this time there's a bit more space for me to actually like look through my clothes. So I'm just going to take out the ones that I want to get rid of and then organize whatever is left. But honestly, my closet looks just as bad as before I did the last clean out. So, but yeah, let's go ahead and start clearing out this closet. So I've taken out all the clothes that I want to get rid of from my closet. Luckily, it's not a lot this time, which is a good sign. It means that I haven't spent money this year on things that I'm not actually wearing. So now this is everything that's left in my closet. I'm just going to go ahead and organize everything in my closet into like sections because right now everything is a little mismatched. So I'm just going to sort everything out. So I just finished organizing my closet. I filled the first half of my closet with all my summer clothes. I do have my winter scarves just hanging here first just to keep them there. And then I have all my maxi skirts hanging here and then some dresses as well. And then I have some cover-ups here that I'll probably be reaching for on the colder days of the summer. And then I have all my hoodies here. These are mainly my thick ones for the fall season. And then the back half of my closet is just everything that I usually reach for during the colder seasons. This is my bathrobe and then everything past it is more formal wear which I didn't really touch because 
because I never know when I'm gonna need those clothes. So yeah, I also changed out all my hangers to keep them all the same except for like my claw hangers because I need them to like hold up the ones that don't have a sleeve. So I am finally done clearing out my entire closet. Now it's time to move on to this. So this is everything that was in the bottom of my closet. There's so much random stuff. Honestly, most of it is bags. The last time I did this, I just put all of my bags into the bigger bags. And that's honestly probably what I'm going to do again because I have no other way to put these away. I'm going to go through these bags and see if there's anything I can get rid of. But I honestly highly doubt it. I have so many random tote bags, but like... I'm sentimental about it. Like I got this one from like this Asian street fair thing. I think it's from 2021 and it's such a basic tote bag and like I rarely use it but it's just like I remember going here with my friends and we all got the tote bag so I can't throw it out so I'm keeping it. Every time my school has an event I take their tote bags. Why do I do this? I don't use it. It's not even pretty. This is so sad. I have all my bags organized now here. I did throw out a few things, but honestly, I barely made a dent. I left these two bags out because these are my everyday bags right now. In this one big travel bag, I have all of my tote bags folded in here that I use pretty often, but like not every day. So that's where I kept those. And then in this travel bag, I have a few more bags that I don't really use often, but can't throw away. So yeah, I'm just gonna vacuum the closet floor real quick and then put everything back in and then we'll finally be done with the closet. So this is the bottom of my closet. I put all my bags away. Honestly, I'm just happy that I can see what's going on at the bottom of my closet again, so I'm calling this a win. So I am finally done going through all my clothes and getting rid of everything that I'm no longer wearing. I'm so tired. I'm so ready to go to bed. But this is what my bed looks like right now. So the last thing I'm going to do for today is clear the pile and just make room for me to sleep in my bed tonight because I am so tired. I'm so tired already. I haven't even started. My room feels so cluttered from everything that I've like taken out and it's all just like sitting in my room right now. So we need to finish this ASAP. So today I'm going to be focusing on this side of my room. So that's my vanity, my desk area, and also my bookshelf because that place is a mess. I'm also going to be taking down my lights finally. I'm sure if you've been watching all my vlogs for like the past year, you've been waiting for the moment that I take them down. It's going to be today finally. I'm just going to wait for my dad to come home so he can help me with it. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to replace the lights though or if I'm just going to like get rid of them. I've had these lights up since I was in like 10th grade. Without it, my room just looks so naked. I don't know what to do.
on the top I have all the products that I use daily. Here are my hair accessories and then these are just some like miscellaneous things. These two are my lash stuff, so these are some falsies and then this is lash glue and some brushes. These are just some earrings and this is more miscellaneous things. This is my gua sha, which I honestly barely use. This is just some post wax wipes. I had extra ones so I just put it in there. I just have one eyeshadow palette in here because I barely use it. This is the only one that it fit in, so I put it in there. And then here I have a bunch of sheet masks. This is my favorite brand of sheet masks from the face shop. And then this is all my extra makeup. And then this is like my retainers and band-aids and stuff. And then here I just have a bunch of other miscellaneous things that I reach for often. I recently hit 1,000 on YouTube, which is so crazy to think about. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. I know it's really small in comparison to other channels, but I've been working on this for a while and my friends know that. So they actually surprised me with a cake and some balloons when I hit 1,000, which is so sweet. Oh my god. Thank you guys so much for doing that. You didn't have to if you're watching, but I appreciate it. But anyway, the point of saying that was I took home the balloons for memories and I don't know where to put it now because it's still very big. But yeah, 1K. <laughs> So when I was cleaning my desk area, I just piled all the books on the side because I'm actually going to clean out this right now, which you've probably never seen. Neither have I. I have a bunch of books in here that I haven't touched since I was probably in sixth grade. It's such a waste of space because I have so many books there that like have nowhere to go. So I'm just going to empty it all out and donate them as well because honestly, I'm not touching them at all. I'm trying to get into reading again this summer, but it's not going to be these books. I was like oddly attached to them because I loved them so much when I was younger, but not attached enough to keep them anymore. So I'm just gonna go through these and empty them. You can literally tell how long ago it's been since I read by the era of books that I have right now. This was a Christmas gift to me from a family friend a long, long time ago. And I didn't know who Kendall and Kylie were at the time. But now that I know who they are, why do they have a book? If you are a kid that grew up in church, you already know. You already know. God. My old DSi. I don't have the charger for it. Oh, oh my gosh. Aww. I had to read this for school and it was so traumatizing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So this is everything that I'm gonna donate. They're mostly books. And I also have a bunch of like coloring things. I think I'll donate these to the Sunday school at my church because everything is still pretty full. I just put a bunch of miscellaneous things in here. So like my DSi, glue gun, and then these are some old church notebooks from when I was a kid. And then right now, these are the only things that are left in this notebook. I kept the Diary of a Wimpy Kid book because I don't know, but I kept it. So now I have all this space for a bunch of new books that I can put in here, which is great. I'm going to just go through my messy little bookshelf here and put some books over into there. A lot of these are actually church notebooks that are already full. So I'm going to clear this up and move a bunch of these over to my empty drawers so that I can have space for things that I'm actually using right now.
is how my little bookshelf looks now i left this bible and notebook at the top because these are the ones i bring to church so i'm always grabbing it here are all the other books that i'm using like daily these are just two books that i came across while i was cleaning that i realized i hadn't read yet so i'm gonna try to read these because i really want to get back into reading and then these are just a bunch of random things honestly like i have a bunch of prayer journals here and all these notebooks are actually still empty so i'm keeping it there so that i know that if i run out of a notebook then i can grab one from here and then this is like a textbook for my school that i never touch and then here are just a bunch of empty boxes of electronics that i own because i can't get myself to throw them away i don't know why but yeah it looks way better now way clearer and i'm just so happy that i finally have some space beside my desk We are finally almost done with our room transformation we just have one more thing left to do and that is to change out my comforter it's getting warmer it's literally so hot right now like i'm sweating so earlier in this video i bought a lighter comforter set for the spring summer season i just moved it into the dryer and once it's ready we're going to change out our winter sheets and put in our new spring summer sheets It is nighttime now because I had to charge my camera, but this is the final set. I'm so happy with how it looks. I feel like it matches my room vibe so well. The thing is with twin size comforters, they always only give one pillowcase, but I like to sleep with a lot of pillows, so I had to find my own pillowcases for my other two. This is the best one that I could find in my house that still kind of matches the design. Honestly, I don't think it's too bad. I'm really happy with it. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a quick tour of my room. Not much changed because most of the things that I did was more decluttering, but honestly, my room feels brand new. I'm so so happy that I can finally see the surfaces in my room and it just feels lighter and cleaner so I'm so happy so that is it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much for 1,000 subscribers I appreciate you guys so much don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video bye